Hi there. I'm doing a little tutorial on bucket fill painting um, here on GIMP. I did a quick over on Paint Shop Pro earlier, and I don't know how many people that's going to help. GIMP is a free program, and it really is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I love it. It mimics Adobe, but it's a little more user-friendly than Adobe, I think. All right. Open the picture of your choice. I chose something that I already colored in the um, phone app called Happy Colors Paint by Color, or Paint by Number. It's um, really cute. The pictures are just precious. As you can see, this is very cute. Uh, the colors are normally more bold. I lightened the colors in order to remove and extract the lines from the uh, picture so that I can do what I want with it <laughs> and color it a different way. And to do that, just go over here to where your toolbox should be open and grab your um, magic wand. Select your tool options over here and make sure that you have selected the add to the current selection. If you have the first one selected, every time you click on something, you're going to cancel what you just clicked on in order to select that. You don't want to do that to yourself. <laughs> so make sure that you have it on add to current selection. Um, I don't need transparent areas, so just have your setup look like my setup. The threshold, I don't have set very high. I have it to about 6, 6'4". Six, That's where it landed when I did this with the arrow and just clicked. And I keep it on composite for this. And zoom in. I use control and use the wheel on my mouse to go in and out. Um, you have your zoom down here, though, to... I, I'm going to 300, I suppose. I'm going to select one of the thick black lines and I'm just going to click in it one time with my wand. And I'm going to back back out a little bit and take a look and see if I I got all the lines. Sometimes sometimes you could be missing one. Depends on how thinly colored and offset some of the black is. It looks like it did good. I think it's really meant to be that way. All right. That done. I'm going to right click. I'm going to edit, and I'm going to cut, or control, whoops, there's some black missing. Okay, control Z, <laughs> and now I'm going to go in and grab this black. I don't know why it did that. It was on composite. It was supposed to just do everything. Oh, because of the threshold. Silly me. Some things I'm still getting used to with GIMP, but I'm, I'm finding more and more that I prefer using it. I really love it. It should only take a moment. Was that everything I had missed? One way to find out. Now, go to Edit and Cut or Control X. Oh, there is something I missed. Control Z, back that up. Click in there, and I think that's about got it. Edit Cut or Control X, and that's got it. I'm not going to grab that little black spot right there. I really think that it was a mistake to begin with. All right, I cut the black lines out and I'm satisfied with what I've got. Now, right click, edit, and go down to paste as new layer or hit F2. Now, go to your layers. Voila, we have layers. Go up to select here and select none. That'll get rid of your squiggly lines. And here we can just invis that for a moment so that we can take a look at what we've got. And it looks like they're not really broken lines. They're pretty good. They're pretty clean. This is ready to be painted with a bucket. <laughs> and here's how we do that. Um, you're going to need your patterns. I have mine on enormous so that I can see quickly. I'm going to be using my bead selections, I think, 
for this. All right, so grab your wand and pick a part to click inside of. Why is that not working? Oh, I need to be on the layer. Lessons learned. You know what? I would like to make extra copies of this in case I need to fix something that I did without having to do a whole bunch of backtracking. So if you go to edit and copy and then hit F2, and I, I just held it down a few times there and now I have a whole bunch of copies and I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> now click with your wand inside the uh, given area that you would like to, hmm, oh, that you would like to paint. We're going to have to select transparent areas. Look at there. I'm learning the program with you. Okay, click inside somewhere, grab your bucket. If you have your texture or your pattern selected and dump. Okay, that did not work. Why? Go to your tool options and select pattern fill. <laughs> No, I didn't forget to do that on purpose, <laughs> just for the tutorial. I really forgot to do that. So here we go. <laughs> and the opacity is down, so I'm going to turn the opacity up. And notice I can do things up here. I think I want it on normal. I don't want it on multiply. I don't know what multiply is going to do, but I don't like the, the look of it so far. So I'm going to back up, control Z, and now I'm going to try again. Voila. That's what I like to see. All right. Um, go to select. and Select none. And then select another area. Grab your wand. And pick more places that you want a dump bucket. I'm going to pick a few random here. And go pick the color that you want off your patterns. Grab your bucket. And there you go. Now, notice all of those colored at the same time. That's because I have it set to fill similar colors. And it's fill transparent areas. So the, the program pretty much did the smart thing and put two and two together. Go to select and select none. Now, I have a broken line over here, which means... When I dump a bucket into it, it's going to slide out and it's just going to cover this whole area. So I'm going to try and fix that line with my paintbrush. And I'm going to go and grab myself a solid round thing. Make it really small. There we go. Line is fixed. I also would like to fix this over here. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's more underneath. At least I know that one is gone. There. I think I can live with that. Hmm. Voila. Grab your wand. Pick a spot. And just keep repeating. And... That's basically all there is to it. It's a little time consuming sometimes, but it's a lot of fun. And I think what I end up with is quite rewarding. I enjoy it a lot. I recommend it. <laughs> Not happy with the nose. Hmm. That'll work. Why not? Okay, and remember, select none. Or you can do the shift control A if your fingers are coordinated enough for stuff like that. I recommend it as well. Grab your wand. The white that I have is mother of pearl. And Moonstone. They're some of my favorites. Nice. Alrighty. So.
so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, I also like to make golden lines to finish my pictures off with. And the way you do that is you just grab one of these and you can copy it and paste it as a new image. And it'll go over to the side and you have another new image. This is the one I was on. This is the one for just the lines. And if you take your wand, I have heavy threshold and I'm going to click in the transparent sections. Oh, I'm still on paint, aren't I? <laughs> I need to put my wand on, high threshold, and voila. Now I'm going to go to select and I'm going to invert. And then I can use my spray brush. Let's see. Oh, I guess I need to use the bucket after all. That's right. That's how this is different from Paint Shop Pro. Either way, I'm happy with it. Um, find something that you want to make the color of your lines. Now, there's no inner bevel on GIMP. Well, there's bevel, but in order to get the effect that you would get in Paint Shop Pro, you have to do it a lot of times. I'm talking 10 or more. And every time you do it, you open a new image for it. It, it gets crazy after a minute. There we go. And now I have gold lines. And I can put them on top of the picture that I'm working on. Um, let's see. I'm going to copy. So right click edit or go up to edit or control C. I'm going back over here to my picture, checking out my layers. I'm going to bring this in vis or visible once again. And I'm going to paste this new layer, the uh, gold lines. <laughs> My grabber tool, it looks like I'm going to have to maneuver it around some. Now I do want to embolden this, so I'm going to select colors, I'm going to hue saturation, and I'm going to bring the saturation way up and see if that works for me. Um, it's one of the many things you can do. I guess I'm going to try to bevel. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's listed under decor, under filters. All right, add bevel. Work on a copy. I don't know. Let, let me try to not work on a copy this time. <laughs> See what happens here. Okay, I want it to happen again. I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to keep clicking on add bevel. And it'll just keep repeating the last action that I did. And also hit Control F. I've been known to sit and hold Control F down. Oh, this is better than opening a new image every time I touch it. And it just doesn't look like it's beveling to me. Well, regardless, I'm going to go to Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Wow, no blur, please. Now, I can break these so that they don't move together and they move separately and I can control wherever that shadow goes. And I'm just going to satisfy myself with that. And there's this. About to show you something real quick here. Now, I clicked on the lines before I merged them down. 
going to show you why. Now, go to selection and invert. Voila. Now, I can mess around with the color on this. Um, I can try to bevel it if I want. I want to make the colors bolder. What about my hue? Am I still on black lines? I thought I inverted. Oh my. Okay, this should work right now. Thank you for watching my tutorial and letting me confuse you as best I can. <laughs> I can change the hue, change the colors of the cute little panda. Oh, I love purple and green. <laughs> cute. Now if I were in Paint Shop Pro, I would just go ahead and bevel the whole thing, inner bevel, and uh, sometimes it's a really good look. But I like this. That works for me. I'm going to select none. I'm going to uninvis my cold lines, and there. Pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and just merge them all to get them out of the way. And this is what I'm left with. I like it, and I'm going to go ahead and export onto my desktop where I can find it easy. There you go. If it tries to export as a JPEG, just put PNG. Erase the J JPG and put PNG. It's all really simple. GIMP. GIMP is very simple. I hope this was helpful for you. You can do this with any picture, any application. You don't even have to remove the lines. Just click inside a colored section or use the draw tool over here to grab a hold of a certain section. Um, I like the uh, the draw tool here. Once those touch, I just hit enter. Well, there you go. It's done. Um, you can do it any way you like. Uh, I hope it was helpful. The important thing is to have fun and enjoy what you're doing. <laughs>